Did you know that a mere 18 months into their existence, tiny humans start exhibiting what we adults like to call independence? That's right, your cute, drooling little angel will soon be a fierce, determined explorer. Welcome aboard the Yardy Baby Flight as we jet into the compelling universe of burgeoning baby autonomy. Fasten your seatbelts, folks. It's going to be a wild ride. You see, independence is not just about babies doing things solo. We're talking about their first brush with confidence. Their baby steps into the world of resilience and their earliest encounters with problem solving. And this, dear viewer, is the crux of the matter. As grown-ups, we're here not just to witness this exciting transformation, but to facilitate it in a way that feels natural and respectful to our little ones. Exciting, isn't it? But hang on, before we jump into the how toes and when toes, let's take a moment to understand the essence of baby independence. It isn't just about those cute solo walks or their attempts to spoon feed themselves, nor is it about the overused and often misunderstood terrible twos phase. The core of independence lies in the ability of a baby to explore the world, make choices and learn from their experiences, all while under the watchful, loving eyes of their caregivers. So, Let's embark on this exhilarating journey. And hey, we've got a few surprise Caribbean twists along the way. First up, let's tackle the stages of independence. And no, we're not talking about historical revolutions here. Baby independence starts as early as six months with actions like reaching out for toys or a mouthful of pureed veggies. Fast forward a few months and you have a tiny human walking, or should we say, toddling around the house, and soon enough they're asserting their autonomy with the most potent weapon in their arsenal, the powerful no. Remember, these are not battles to be won, but milestones to be celebrated. So how do you, as the responsible adult, navigate the sea of baby rebellion? Well, it's simpler than you think. Encourage their exploration by providing a safe and stimulating environment. Let your baby make choices, even if it's as simple as choosing between two toys. And finally, equip them with the tools to navigate this world. A word of caution though, equip, don't enforce. A spoon is an exploration device before it becomes an eating tool. Now let's address the elephant in the room the infamous independence outbursts. Every baby has them, and they're as normal as the moon orbiting the Earth. The key is to handle them with patience and empathy. And remember, your baby isn't being naughty. They're just grappling with their newfound autonomy. And trust us, it can be as overwhelming for them as it is for you. So bear with those tiny tantrums and with time, they will turn into moments of triumph. But hey, we wouldn't be Yardy Baby if we didn't add a sprinkle of Caribbean remedy to the mix, would we? So here's a cherished Caribbean hack, the art of storytelling. Engage your baby with tales from the Caribbean folklore, stories of brave heroes and smart animals. This not only improves their language skills, but also introduces them to the concepts of problem solving and decision making. And who knows, you might even uncover a few parenting wisdom nuggets in these tales. And there you have it, the mesmerizing, often bumpy, but always rewarding journey of fostering independence in your baby. Remember, your baby is a unique individual, not a robot pre-programmed to hit milestones at a specific time. So, as the grown-up in the room, let's guide them, support them, and most importantly, celebrate their journey towards independence. But don't just take our word for it. We'd love to hear your experiences, the joys and challenges, the wins and losses. So, go ahead flood our comments section with your baby independence tales and while you're at it don't forget to smash that like button subscribe to our channel 
and share the love of Yardy Baby with other parents. Together, let's foster a community that celebrates the wonder of childhood and the joy of parenting. Stay tuned for more exciting, information-packed and Caribbean-flavoured adventures. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning and most importantly, keep being amazing!